Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring update video. We just received patch 1.10, and quite honestly, this patch changes the game more than any previous patch has, and I love it. I'm just going to quickly go over the changes with you guys, and honestly, it doesn't seem like much at first when you're looking at how much they actually changed, but they changed a core mechanic of the game. Poise has been drastically changed. So they increased the poise damage of all the weapons and some spells and incantations. Now when they said they increased the poise damage, they really meant it. In fact, all weapons, with the exception of claws, whips, thrusting swords, daggers, and twin blades, will poise break you, even if you're a full bull goat with the bull goat talisman. On the first swing, they will just poise break you. And even the ones that I mentioned right there have a pretty decently high poise breakpoint. Like the thrusting sword, for example, you need 108 poise to tank that. So they really went hard with the poise damage increase. As an example for how different poise damage is, Lost was kind enough to send me a sheet here showcasing how much poise damage each of the different weapon types do. And a one-handed straight sword is going to do 135 poise damage. So for the most part, even if you are full bulgo, you're not going to poise tank really any of the weapons. Now what they did was pretty interesting. They actually cut the poise damage of the follow-up attack in half. So you could optimize for poise tanking the second hit of certain weapons. Obviously not all of them, as some weapons like the Colossal Sword have crazy poise damage regardless. And I think that's correct. I don't think you should be poise damaging a Colossal weapon. They're slow enough as it is. They're made for trades. And if that wasn't a big enough change, they also boosted hyper armor. So now the combat is a lot more similar to Dark Souls 3. You aren't going to be poise tanking anything by just standing there, because the passive poise is pretty much destroyed, as every weapon just does more poise damage than you can have. But the hyper armor is actually going to be a lot more useful. I was able to poise tank a great sword swing with a great sword when I was testing with Lost by having 73 poise with the Bulgo Talisman. So poise is still going to be pretty relevant for certain situations, especially if you are using hyper armor weapons, although that needs more testing. Moving on to the next thing, they increased the poise when attacking. Like I said, hyper armor is a lot more relevant, but also incantations and spells got a hyper armor boost as well. I'm not sure which ones, we're definitely going to have to test that out. They added damage reduction when performing attacks with some skills, spells, and incantations, and some types of weapons attacks that generate poise. So what they mean by that is when you're attacking with a weapon that has hyper armor, you actually get added defenses. Now I have no idea how much that percentage is, I'm going to have to research and test it out for myself, but it is nice to know that we actually get a little bit of defense boost when swinging hyper armor weapons, as they are made for trades. So it always confused me how hyper armor just wasn't utilized well during the beginning of Elden Ring. Now this next one is a big one for me. Critical hit angles have been extended, meaning they buffed the grab of the backstab. It honestly was pretty terrible. I did like going for backstabs because I've always just enjoyed critical attacks, but Elden Ring did it horribly to the point where going for them, it was easier to backstab your opponent that was going for a backstab. Like if you ran up to somebody, went to backstab, I could run away and run behind you to backstab quite easily because I knew the grab was going to fail. So it was just really risky to go for backstabs at all. We're going to have to see how much they buffed it and how useful it is now, but I will be testing that out for sure. They decreased the invulnerability window of the Quick Step and Bloodhound Step skill. Okay, so maybe the iframes don't last as long during it, or maybe it ends right when the animation ends now. That'll be interesting. And they decreased the damage reduction granted by some skills, incantations, and items. Okay, so they nerfed some incantations and items that boost defenses. Interesting. Now some general balancing things, they increased critical hit damage. Okay, you know what? Backstabs, again, were not worth it to go for because the damage output on the backstab was also not very high. You could out-trade it with a random Ash of War, so it really did need a critical hit buff, to be honest. Decreased recovery time after a missed critical hit, also good. The failed animation for the backstab, like I mentioned earlier, was the reason you were able to just run behind someone who tried to backstab and backstab them so easily. That definitely needed to be lowered as well. And they increased poise damage of attacks that occur after missing a critical hit. So the animation for going for the backstab, if you do happen to miss, they increased the poise damage of that as well. Okay, they really wanted to buff critical hits. I'm all for it. And then some bug fixes here. They adjusted player damage animation so that the attack direction is not intentionally shifted when getting hit while attacking with some types of weapons that generate poise. So the hyper armor weapons, when you would get aim punched, like I talked about, you'd be swinging your sword. If you got hit at all, it would cause the weapon to just kind of go around the opponent and they would miss entirely. That was terrible. So I'm really happy they got rid of that. They fixed a bug that prevented some spells and incantations from causing damage while under the effect of some skills and items. Okay. And then they fixed a bug that caused the effects of Sacred Order skill to continue after switching weapons. I've seen that because of my cosplays. When they use Sacred Order, my other weapons still had it. And they corrected some text in certain languages. 
that's it for the patch but that patch seems small it drastically will change the game the fact that poise is just destroyed like passive poise now we have hyper armor people are gonna have to kind of relearn elden ring it's pretty similar to the way dark souls 3 works though in ways of trading and hyper armor so that's gonna be nice to test out now I'm ready to dive into some invasions and test this all out. With things like poise damage being so high, I feel like certain Ashes of War are going to combo better now. So I want to try something like Spinning Slash. This was always terrible on Great Swords, but now if we actually stun and it can combo, it'll be very powerful, especially with Frostbites. I want to try that. The same thing for Repeating Thrust. Really, so many different Ashes of War are going to be useful now. I don't really have any theme I'm going for here. I want to try backstabs. I want to see how the poise works. I want to try out a variety of Ashes of War. So we're going to do that. Let's just dive into the invasions and see how it goes. Oh, what's this? Ralia. Uh, I guess I'll fight Ekvard. Ekvard Icebone. All right. So I don't know how much poise you have. Let's see. That stuns you. Ooh. Backstab. Oh, that actually could have been a backstab, to be quite honest. Backstab, 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 <laughs> I missed, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> I see they aren't enjoying my backstab chains, man, this is actually great, it's too fun, hello, poke, 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 Maybe they'd go for a third, I thought. No, wait. Actually, wait. This is enough parry right now. I'd like to land a parry as well. That could be the, the cherry on top, you know? Could be fun. <laughs> Almost fell for it, actually. Whoa. Backstab. Oh my god actually possible to punish now oh my god the crit chains are gonna be so back okay i'm sad that one missed but you know what we get this one yes dude actual working backstabs i couldn't have asked for a better patch into nocron we go with omen of death Ooh, three-man team i like it what are we gonna do this time some repeating thrust action. Depends on what we're fighting, really. Hello there, guys. Get some defense going. Hello. Idalia Miller. Oh, a backstab attempt. Ooh, I like it. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> Goodbye, Dora. <laughs> you okay, host? I think your L2 button might be broken. Not entirely sure, but yeah. I think you might be. <laughs> Honestly, good Ash of War now. He <laughs> dodged the blood loss. <laughs> Even the daggers can be dangerous right now. I like it. Kind of makes everything viable in a way. Let's go Curve Sword. Oops, I didn't mean to jump there. I don't even know how I did that. I went to two-hand my weapon. Back it up, Mr. Hosty. Backstab. Backstab. We're, we're sailing now. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Alright, Omen of Death. <laughs> I do apologize, my good friend. <laughs> I'm just kind of feeling the backstabs now. I don't know. Backstabs are in season again. I think he'll attack back ever. Frostbitten, huh? <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Omen of Death. Can I just say you survived for quite a while there? Good mixed up rolls. Into the Mowin Palace, where I will shoot my victims in the face with an arrow. From the bushes. Woo! Oh! Hey guys. How are you? I just came to say hello. So did the Albinoric, apparently. Oh my god, did you see that double hammer swing? That is a get backstabbed if I've ever seen one. Look at him over there going hard. Backstab, oh, that was scary. <laughs> a little scary. Uh oh. 
As long as it's not the double hammer guy, I'm happy. <laughs> you guys attacked in unison. I like it. Oh, perfect. That readjustment. Oh my god. I'm an enjoyer of this patch. Yes, I am. <laughs> Feels like home. Hi, guys. Hello. I didn't even drink my physic yet. Give me more defense, too. I don't want Sir Bonk to just, like, delete me from existence. Hi there. Backstab. Oh, that's not a backstab. <gasps> that's not where the heal thing is. That's where the heal thing is. Hi there. Pew. Pow. Pow. Backstab. Oh my god. Spacing is so good now. Interesting, Kaelid with Stormbringer Row. All right, Stormbringer. Oh, what is this? Oh, hello, guys. How are you? Raelia. Hello there, Raelia. What's going on over there? All right, Raelia. Twin Blades. I don't really know how they're going to operate under this. Are they going to stun? Oh, it seems like it. That was like the tip of a, a running attack. <laughs> oh, watch out, Mr. Red. And go. Let's do... What about a curve Sword? I feel like this could be a good matchup. It's basically like old s stock versus DS3. I'm not going to approach when you have Endure active. That would be pretty not smart of me. Hello. I feel like this is going to combo. Indeed it did. But what about the Great Sword? <laughs> Spinning slash on two different weapons, and they both true combo. Ooh, good mix up for speed to confuse your opponent though, because this is this is pretty quick. The great sword has like a little delay. Oops, I was repeating thrust. What do we want to try out? Yeah, you know what? Let's try storm assault. All right, stormbringer row. Show me what you got. Running heavy. Let's see how it like launches up. Yeah, I figured that would be pretty useful. You can heal up stormbringer. I want to test out some more things. I want to see, like, if we get the, the hit on the front of it, like the beginning of the Ash of War, will it poise break? Oh, that's actually really good. Oh, man. Definitely good. What, what is this build? <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's Oonga Boonga with the torch. That's amazing. Well, hello there, guys. What's going on here? Vingalmo. Are you resummoning him? Whoa, I didn't even want that backstab grab. That's interesting. Poke. Oh, enough poise, huh? Enough poise to tank the rapier one-handed. That's right. You can actually do that if you have like 108 poise. <laughs> nice. Into this. I think he's going to probably heal. No, Scarlet Rod. Interesting. I wonder why you'd go for that. Ooh, that is so satisfying. Ooh, some fire. Is that instant stun as well? <laughs> Feels like an actual strong battle now. Poke. Stab. Oh no, backstab. Ooh. Oh, that was smart. <laughs> that almost got me right there. We drained through a lot of his Estus though, which is pretty nice. Forgot about that. This should stun, yeah. Oh! <laughs> It sent the host into the air, but the teammate was there and ready. Oh, decent tracking on that. Ooh. And we heal that. Heal the Scarlet Rod as well. Why do I hear a wizard? Oh, they're taunted tongued. Oh, that's cool. We dodge that. I'm coming in there, Red. You know what we're going to do? I actually enjoy... Oh my god, what's going on there? <laughs> that was actually beautiful. Get off my teammate. I'm protecting him. Actual protection of a teammate. Ooh. 
Ooh, that is some high madness buildup. They're just statted out here. All right. That guy is having a tough time. Ooh, a backstab attempt. Oh, I was going to backstab the backstab. I love how they're focusing on me. It's kind of working out for me. No, you are not chain backstabbing me, sir. Woo. Mr. Red, you almost hit me. Good teamwork. Oh my god, that's actually working well for him. Does this stun every time? No, I haven't used that Ash of War yet. It's pretty funny though. Oh, now he's 2v1 here. Oh, I don't want that to hit me, but it looks pretty annoying. Oop, backstab. Ah, uh, I wanted to get that just for fun. Let's spinning slash in this direction here. <laughs> Man, this poor host is actually taking a thrashing. These rats are actually helping him so much. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh god, did he just get launched into the air? Oh, this might be the end. This Ash of War is honestly so strong. <laughs> good teamwork, Spite. Is that his name? Oops. I meant to bow, but good teamwork, Spite. Hello there. Taka son. You got a teammate. I know you do. I don't trust you. Not one bit. Why are we running to that bush specifically? You know, that was kind of an accident, but it's pretty funny. Even on high latency, like, I can grab it if I'm quick enough. Which I really appreciate. And I am a huge enjoyer of multiple attack Ash of Ores now. Storm Assault. And the Spinning Slash. And then we also have Repeating Thrust. On the Claymore, anyway. John Elden Ring. You know, I want to test out the Hyper Armor on the Greatsword now. Oh, sorry, Colossal Sword. I want to see how useful it is. Hello there, Pelican. Whoa. Into this. I really thought he'd be a little bit more aggressive and actually come attack. Is that Madness? Madness Snipe, interesting. Okay. Madness can be scary. Whoop. Definitely scary on Madness. Plus fists. Okay, we're gonna get out of the blender here. He's the madness sniper. Just gotta dodge him. Get a little bit more stamina while we're going here. Actually, we'll get double. We'll get stamina regen and stamina. Because I gotta cure this poison. Is that. Wait, I thought this guy's name was Guts. <laughs> okay, we kinda got out of the situation where our health was being blendered. Now we can go back and backstab John Elden Ring. This could be a wake up. Ooh. We'll do this. They're like both near me. I feel like this is going to combo. Madness. Okay, not that bad actually. Though. What are my rings? I actually think I would have killed the host right there. Ooh, we dodged the blood loss, I think. We're definitely attacking in a pack together. We're smart for that. Oh, that guy has some high latency, though. Okay, that got me out of there. One is Bloodhound stepping behind me. Okay, his fists with that kind of connection are kind of scary. But he doesn't have much health, so it doesn't matter too much when he's alone. But he can be aggressive with the fists, for sure. <laughs> Woo, the hyper armor. I just saw it right there. I like it. Really aggressive team. Close calls there. Ooh, the Hallig tree. With Rodna of Lothric. I think they're below me. Hello there, guys. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. 
What, what if I did this right here? <laughs> did he just fall? Oh my god, he did. Backstab. Backstab. <laughs> I love that Ash of War so much. Oh, a nice mountaintop invasion with Jungyun. Ooh, they're over there. One looks like a wizard. Oh, it's a Katana user, actually. Wonder how we would do against that. Star shower, huh? Gonna dodge through that, I guess. Bonk. <laughs> okay, so the wizard's just gonna do that, that's for sure. Okay. Alright, come here, Mr. Millicent. Oh, it's Millicent. I didn't even realize. Another red, interesting. He was about to do the Melania attack. Kind of want to try to backstab one of those. I'll save you. Literally, he did. I feel like I was a pretty good help there. <laughs> Boom. Backstab. Aww. Ooh, the red almost hit me, actually. Okay, at least the wizard's not attacking me. I like that. Backstab, backstab. Oh, and that was fancy. Oh, I actually did have the crit ring on too. And it, you know, it did some decent damage. Hyper armor, nice. Okay, we'll take that. All right, let's go do some spinning slashing with the claymore. I think I'm a huge fan of that. Did the wizard jump off the cliff? <laughs> well, goodbye, Mr. Wizard. All right, those are all the invasions that I have for you guys for today, testing the new patch, and I have only good things to say about it. I love that every weapon stuns. I just find spacing a lot better when you know your opponent is going to get stunned from it. Ashes of War that weren't very good on big weapons like Spinning Slash. They're a bit slow still, but now that they combo, it's really good burst damage, so you can use that well. Just overall, such a positive change. They're definitely going to have to refine some things. You know, some things might be too strong here and there because it is new. But I love the direction they're heading. Overall, just such a better experience. Now that we have the patch, comment below things you'd like to see. I'm going to test out each of the weapon classes, different builds. It's really a new game that we have to relearn. So we have a lot of content to come. I do appreciate any input and anything you'd like to see. Make sure you comment below. Until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.